Yo, 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 what's up, Flat Pack? This is Lonnie, and you're watching Flat Earth Magic. Bam! Okay, that was fucking dumb. All right, on a serious note, today I'm gonna talk to you about some hair right here. Today I'm gonna talk to you about something that's very important to me. Now, we know Earth is flat, but what about the surroundings? I'm gonna talk about above us, the waters above us. They say space is space. But really, it's water. I can prove it. And I'm going to go back to a documented event that happened that NASA recorded back in 1996, February 25th, a Sunday, like today. So, on this day, NASA releases or launches Columbia. Columbia, bam, goes into space and releases a tether into orbit. And this tether was an experiment, but the name of the tether was the Tether Satellite System, TSS-ARA. So, and the sole purpose of this experiment was to create electricity, to generate electricity using the Earth's electromagnetic field. But, what happened, instead of doing this experiment, they lost the fucking tether, which is 12 miles long. How do you lose 12 miles? I don't know. But they did. Taxpayer money, I guess. Right off. So, they lose 12 miles. But what they did gain is they gained five hours of documented data. And I evaluated as much of that data as possible. And I'll tell you, on that is some incriminating evidence against NASA. And it's their own video. It's their own employees. This is all them. All I'm doing is pointing out that there's water above us. It's not space. Now, second note is why does the Navy have a space program? Why would they need the Navy, someone who controls the sea, the military that controls the ocean, the water, be in space? Hmm. Let's check this out. Enjoy. Oh, wait, yeah, I'm sorry, I forgot. I usually pay attention to a small part in the video. That's actually almost the entire video. So there's this fucking tether that's 12 miles long. It sits like this, right? Floating. It looks like it's floating, not flying. It looks like it's floating. And then you see all these other organisms like life. Gigantic, mile-wide life. Detail. Detail, look, 12 miles. But you see these gigantic things moving around it and, and below it, coming into view, out of view, and they're circling and moving through this environment like marine life, like water, like fish in water. It's crazy. So again, check this video out. Bam. Control Houston. This view of the end of the remaining amount of tether. This is Mission Control Houston. This uh, view is of the end of the tether, uh, the end of about 10 meters or so, uh, roughly uh, 30 to 33 feet of tether that's uh, believed is still out in Columbia's cargo bay. Uh, the tether large. And Jeff, we're tracking it with the radar, and we do read zero tether. What had started out as a TSS ended in disappointment for Columbia's astronauts and flight controllers as the system monitoring the satellite lost all data and the flight crew watched as TSS and its coral tether sped away from the shuttle. Columbia and the satellite now 77 nautical miles apart. In that call reporting that uh, the crew can see the tether and uh, see the satellite, that it's beautiful.
this view uh, showing uh, the satellite. Again, uh, just moving into sunrise. 81 nautical miles now from Columbia. Franklin, uh, we see a long line, a couple of star-like things, and a lot of things swimming in the foreground. Can you describe what you're seeing? Well, the long line is, uh, is a tether, um, and uh, there's a little bit of debris that uh, kind of flies with us, and uh, it's uh, illuminated by the sun at such low angles. So this is just a lot of stray light, and it's getting washed out uh, quickly, but uh, Quad is trying to do a, a quick, uh, good job here adjusting the camera. Copy that. You know, that description by the crew, this is uh, the tether in the satellite, uh, the satellite with 12, approximately 12 miles of tether still attached to it. Columbia and the satellite to now just passing over the west coast of uh, northern Africa. The two spacecraft are now 90 nautical miles apart. Controllers for the satellite uh, did have communications uh, with it uh, during the close pass uh, between Columbia and the satellite. Columbia Houston, that's a much better view, uh, a lot more contrast visible. And how wide uh, does that tether appear to be? We, we see, it seems to resemble a a much wider strand than we'd expect. Can you describe which way the uh, the satellite is visible on that uh, strand? Satellite uh, now 100 nautical miles. <laughs> 